Hello, I'm Graham Pink and I'm a director of Comdronic Limited. This short video is to go through the process of servicing a unit that's returned to us for its annual service and calibration. The unit comes to us, we will obviously initially do an initial inspection of the unit where we'll first of all remove the battery cover, make sure there's a battery that works in the unit and then make sure the unit turns on, the backlights are working on the screen, the screen is displaying properly, that the buttons are actually working and that all the menus are available. If we find any problems here, these are highlighted on our checklist and that checklist goes through to the next stage of the process so that the next person in the chain can see what needs to be attended to. So having checked that the unit is functioning or if there is a fault, the next part of the process is to strip the unit completely down and we do that simply by removing the four back retaining screws and separating what we call the wet end from the PCB. So on this unit, the retaining screws have been removed. We're going to separate the unit now from the PCB. Put the PCB to one side. We don't want that anywhere near the wet end at the moment or any of the wet parts, which leaves us with the actual wet end of the unit, showing the sensor, sensor connectors and the valve block. This is then completely stripped to component form, ready for cleaning, processing and reassembly. Once the unit has been stripped down, we end up with a series of components which are going to go through to the ultrasonic cleaner. We have the, the main valve block, we have the crossover valves, strainer housings, the important part here, the sensor itself, sensor connectors, spindle, snap connectors. All of the other parts in here, all the O-rings, all of the labels you can see there, they're scrapped. Always replaced, every O-ring, every label is replaced. And the strainers as well, they will be replaced. So they can go to one side, we won't be needing those again. All of these parts are now going to go into the ultrasonic cleaner, which will run for a 20 minute pre-programmed cycle, which is what we found to be the most effective way of removing all of the debris and, and uh, scale from the components to enable us to rebuild the unit and to retest the unit. These parts have now come out of the ultrasonic cleaner. They've been through their cycle time and we've removed the debris, the, uh, the scale from the components. And as you can see, they're coming out in a, a fairly good, almost pristine condition, but they will require further finishing as we assemble ready for test. So these components are now going to be put back together we put them back together with all the new O-rings as required well, all the way through until we have our valve block sub-assembly with the sensor in place ready for its first of a series of tests and the first test we do on this is a, a pressure test to make sure all of the internal seals are working correctly and we will then give the unit an air underwater test to check the, the actual valve block and the integrity of all of the, the pressure retaining parts. So the unit's been through the pressure test and it's been through the air underwater test and we now take the reassembled component here. We take the strainer housings off, we take the equalizing valve off and we reassemble the unit again into its rear enclosure. So here we can see the valve block has been reassembled into the rear enclosure. We're now going to put this through a further air underwater test just to ensure that it's fully leak proof and all the seals are functioning before we put the wet end back together with the PCB. The wet end assembly has now been fully tested, dried. We know that all the seals work. We know that it's pressure tight and we're ready now to assemble this with the PCB to make a complete unit ready for recalibration. So if we take the circuit board in its enclosure, we've put a new seal into this, and we've now got to carefully put the two halves together to ensure that we get a mating joint between the sensor and the PCB.
The unit has now been reassembled. The front half and the rear half, the wet end, are together securely. But before we put this through the recalibration process, we need to update the valve database, the firmware, and ensure that we have the most up-to-date valves on the, on the unit before it's returned to the customer. We'll do that by removal of the SD card, the back of the unit, and then we should take that away and update that with the new valve database. The SD card has now been updated with the latest valve list, and it's ready to go back into the AC6 and for the AC6 to be moved on for recalibration. Back in its slot, new battery goes in. We're now ready to go through to the next stage of the process. So the unit has now been serviced, calibrated, all new seals, and we know that it's ready for going back to the customer. But before we send it out, all of the labels are going to be refitted so that the unit looks new and is in excellent condition. So we have the identification label where we have the serial number, our contact details, that's very important. Let's get that on first. We then have the pressure rating label, so that this particular unit is designed for a maximum of 200 kilopascals differential pressure and 10 bar static pressure. We're going to refit the battery cover making sure that the tabs are good, new seal fitted. New battery label. For the equalizing valve, we simply have a clockwise to close sticker. It's important that whenever you're using the AC6, if you're not actually measuring differential pressure, this equalizing valve should be open at all times. We then have a security label. And when you're on site, the quick reference to connection, disconnection, is all down on the front of each unit. Simple nine stages of connection and disconnection. One of the advantages we've got now is that we put some protection over the screen with a new membrane with a, a, a bumper strip on here so that if the, if the machine does get a, a slight knock on sight hopefully we're going to protect the screen with the use of the bumper strip. And then finally the plus for the high pressure side connector and for the low pressure side which only leaves the lanyard clip which is replaced every time so a new lanyard clip is secured into the top of the unit and finally just to prevent any dirt or debris getting into the snap connectors are protective rubber shoes. There's the unit fully serviced, relabeled and ready to go back to the customer. Thank you.